Hi everyone! If you are new here, I would like to say welcome to my channel. It is time for me to have a deep condition. If you've been watching my previous videos, you saw that I had a protective style in for over a month. So my hair is long overdue for a deep condition. I have an interesting concoction today. But before we get started with that, I would like to ask for you to please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, as this will help for C Crown of Glory grow as a channel. So today, two ingredients that I have for my deep conditioner is kale and avocado. Interesting, right? So let me tell you guys why I chose kale and avocado. We know that kale is considered a superfood. And in fact, it's one of my favorite uh, vegetables to have. It is full of nutrition and nutrients and vitamins and minerals. And I feel that if it's super healthy for me to consume, then why not add it to my coils, you know? So kale is rich in vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, folate, and much more. The next thing is avocado. So I think mostly everyone knows that avocado is a very nutritious fruit. It is a great source of omega-3s, good fats, biotin, B vitamins, magnesium and potassium, and so much more. So avocado basically coats the hair shaft and this provides protection and, and hydration. Then with the biotin in the avocado, you know that helps stimulate hair growth. If you see a lot of hair growth products, you'll see that biotin is a big ingredient that they add. Without further ado, let me show you guys how I'll be mixing my hair mask, okay? Please watch this video until the end because I will be using my steamer for 30 minutes and I need to let you guys know how my hair feels afterwards, okay? So here are the items that I'll be using for the hair mask mixture. I have a base argan oil deep conditioner mask. I have a tube of hot oil olive oil treatment by Queen Helene. I have a few leaves of kale and I have one avocado. To help me blend all of these together I obviously need a mixer or a blender so I'll be using my daughter's baby bullet. And then, of course, I need a container with a spoon to put that in afterwards. So here I'm just cutting the avocado in half. It's just something so therapeutic about cutting avocado. It's just amazing. And then I'm just going to put that right into the blender. I'm going to put my kale in. This was a big mistake. I should have blended the kale separately and just strained it and then added the kale juice into the mixture. Now I'm adding a few spoonfuls of the argan hair mask. And now I'm going to add in half of the tube of the olive oil, hot oil treatment. And I'm going to use the other half uh, for the next time that I do this hair mask. And I have some water. Of course, you know that's gonna help incorporate all of the items together and help it blend easier. But I'm still gonna have a little bit of trouble, so I'm gonna have to use a spoon to help mix all of that together. So I made sure to add the water little by little because I didn't want the product to come out too watery. Using the spoon at this point was a big help And there it goes, it's mixing wonderfully without any issues. And I just blended that for about two minutes just to make sure that all of the ingredients were incorporated. And now after two minutes, I have the consistency that I need. And look at that color. That is just such a pretty color. It looks like a pistachio smoothie or ice cream or avocado yogurt. It's so pretty. I love that color. And then the consistency or the texture was everything. My mixture is complete and I'm setting it to the side. So everyone, this is the hair steamer that I'm going to be using with my deep conditioner. This is going to help 
let all the nutrients from the deep condition penetrate my hair. I'm gonna use this for 30 minutes on my hair and then just rinse it out, let it air dry and style it and then that's it. The first thing that I need to do, I need to fill this up with some distilled water. Distilled water helps prevent hard water buildup. That's why it's good to use it in the steamer. I have my avocado and kale mask ready. And FYI, I am starting off with freshly washed hair. I'm just gonna use my hands. It's probably gonna get messy, but it's a hair mask. I can just wash my hands. And this smells really good. I'll apply the mask onto my hair. Make sure I get my roots because I do wanna make sure that my roots get some of that nutrition too. And most definitely gotta get my ends. So I saturate my hair. Then I'm gonna twist it up. I already got the steamer going. But guys, I used the whole container of my hair mask. So this was really, really precise. Thought I was gonna have too much left over, but nothing went to waste. That's my hair mask. Let me massage it into my hair a little bit. I look cool, y'all, or not? Doesn't matter. It's not about looking cool. It's about healthy hair, guys. Get my edges, honey. You know, them things need nutrition too. So I have my little shower cap. I'm gonna put that over my head. I almost forgot, guys. Before I sit under, I'm gonna make sure I have a whole liter of water because, you know, with heat, it lowers your blood pressure. It can make you feel dizzy. So I have my water on deck and make sure I stay hydrated, honey. Hydration is good for hair growth too. Yes. Keep that in mind. Yes, it is. So everyone, my 30 minutes is up. My hair is steamed with the deep conditioner. I'm gonna go wash it out now and then I'll be back to let you know how my hair feels. My hair has been deep conditioned. I sat under the steamer for 30 minutes and I rinsed out my hair and detangled again. I have to be honest with my results. And the good thing is my hair feels nice and strengthened. So I would use this instead of like one of those protein treatments, but this is the, the not so good part. The kale has left like a white residue in my hair. So you can see the little white specks inside of my hair. That is from the kale. What I should have done was blended the kale separately and then use a cheesecloth to strain it off. So these little white specks are like the little fibers from the stalks of the kale. But, um, it's not that much of a big deal for me because I will not be wearing my hair out. This is something that I will do like once every three months just to add strengthening and nutrients to my hair. So overall, I am certainly satisfied with the treatment. However, next time I will be blending the kale separately and then I'll strain it off and then add it into my deep conditioning concoction. So yeah, guys. That is it for me. Please remember, it is not too late to join in on this natural hair journey. I appreciate you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the comment section. And I will see you all next video. Please stay tuned for my next hair challenge. My 30-day aloe vera and horse tail challenge was amazing. I can't wait to start on my new challenge. So please make sure you tune in and hit that notification bell so that when I do upload, you are one of the first to know. I appreciate you all and I see you all next time. Bye.